Hey there, boys and girls. Here's our next story from Colonial Towns and Townspeople. Many years ago, there were tradespeople who were experts in using stone, brick, and wood to build houses, fences, and walls in Colonial America. These people who worked with stone were called masons. The people who worked with brick were called bricklayers. And those who worked with wood were called carpenters. Think about where you live. What do you think the building is made of? Do you think it's built from wood? Do you think it's made with brick or stone? When we're done reading the story, we're going to be able to describe the different traits people who can build houses. Let's first go over our vocabulary. Our vocabulary word is patiently. Patiently means acting or waiting without rushing or urgency. For example, I walked patiently beside my mom even though I really wanted to run. Now let's get started. This story is called The House Builders, Bricklayers, Masons, and Carpenters. In colonial American towns, most people built their own homes with the help of their neighbors. However, townspeople who were wealthy could hire tradespeople who had particular expertise in building. There were three types of tradespeople who helped build houses in colonial times and who still build houses today, the bricklayer, the mason, and the carpenter. The bricklayer built walls and houses using bricks. Bricks are made from clay, extremely fine red soil that comes from the earth. A long time ago, people discovered that if you mix clay with a little sun, with a little water, shaved it into a block, and then baked it into the hot sun, it would dry out and harden into a solid brick. In this picture, you can see a bricklayer laying bricks the way it was done 300 years ago. He is using a special tool called a trowel to spread the mortar. Mortar is a really gooey, sticky material made of sand, water, and a type of crushed rock called lime. Once the bricklayer has spread the mortar evenly with his trowel, he will add another brick to the wall. If the bricklayer is good at his trade, his wall will be straight and strong and will last for many years. A stonemason, or mason for short, builds walls and houses with stones. Like the bricklayer, the mason can use mortar to stick stones together. Can you see the mortar in the spaces between the stones in this chimney? While bricks are mostly the same shape and size, stones come in all shapes and sizes. The mason has to be careful to make sure that each piece fits together closely with the pieces next to it. Can you see how the stones in this wall have been carefully fitted together like pieces in a puzzle? To be able to fit the stones together so well, the mason had to chip away at them with a hammer and a sharp chisel, patiently reshaping the stones so that each one would fit perfectly into its space alongside the others. A chisel is a pointed tool used with a hammer to break off edges of stone. In fact, these stones were fitted together so well that the mason did not need to use mortar to keep them in place. In an old colonial town, Many masons were asked to build the foundations of houses. The foundation is the bottom or base of the house, the lowest part on which the rest of the house stands. The stones in the foundation must fit together snugly so that they never move or crack. The stones on each of the corners of the house, called cornerstones, are especially important. Strong cornerstones make a strong foundation, which makes a sturdy house that won't fall down. Finally, can you tell what other material is used to build houses? That's right, wood. And who works with wood? Yes, the carpenter. Most carpenters begin with a diagram or drawing of what they plan to build. The diagram tells the carpenter how long, how wide, and how thick each wooden board needs to be. And it shows how the pieces need to be fitted together. Sometimes, to save money and time, instead of using smooth wooden boards, carpenters would use rough logs to build houses. The carpenter uses a lot of special tools. This picture shows a carpenter measuring a board with a special kind of ruler called a square. That's good for measuring angles and straight edges. The carpenter makes a mark on the board with a pencil to show him where to cut. Carpenters have to be careful to get their measurements exactly right. 
Otherwise, if they cut the wrong size piece of wood or cut it at the wrong angle, the pieces will not fit together correctly and the house will not stand up properly. Most good carpenters measure their boards twice before cutting, just to make sure that they have marked the exact right place. That's why carpenters have a saying, measure twice, cut once. It's basically to remind themselves to double check their measurements before cutting. Once they cut a board, they can't uncut it. Once the carpenter has cut the boards to the sizes he needs with his saw, he fastens them together with his hammer and nails. Then he uses a tool called a level to check and make sure that everything is straight and even. When a carpenter builds a house, he builds from the ground up. He begins by building the frame of the house. The frame gives the house its shape and holds everything together, like your skeleton gives your body its shape. The frame holds up the walls, the roof, the doors, and the windows. If the carpenter does his job well, the end result will be a beautiful house that keeps rain and wind out for years and years. We know that many Amer early American house builders were true experts at their trades because many of their buildings are still standing today, as straight and tall as ever. Although so we sometimes call them construction workers, Bricklayers, masons, and carpenters still work together to build today's homes. Like colonial homes, modern homes can have parts that are part built of brick, stone, and wood. But unlike colonial tradespeople, the tradespeople of today use electric power tools to make their work much easier to accomplish. The end. Now let's have our discussion. Which tradesperson builds using bricks? What kinds of tools and other materials does a bricklayer use? Which tradesperson builds houses or walls using stones? Carpenters don't use mortar. How do they fasten or attach pieces of wood together? In your journal, write and draw about what type of house you would build, either brick, stone, or wood, and why. Have these discussions with your family.